<laughs> I don't even like Chauncey Cheese. Would you put a sock in it, Randall? Yeah, Randall. Don't you know how lucky you are to be here? This is the most amazing place in the whole wide world. I'm surprisingly unamazed. <laughs> That's because you're not looking at this uh -huh. the right way. <sighs> Who said that? I did. I'm Chauncey. <laughs> Welcome to my factory! Uh, uh, pleased to meet you, sir. I'm Candace, president, treasurer, and secretary of your fan club. Oh, yes! You've written me letters. Many, many, uh, many letters. Welcome! Uh, how old are you? Uh, <laughs> one to two, four, ten. <laughs> <clears throat> Sir, uh, could I get an interview for the Rodents Gazette? Of course! Where do you live? Where do you go to school? What's your favorite subject? What's your favorite fruit? No, I meant, could I interview you? Oh no, I never ever give interviews. <gasps> In my factory, there can be no communication with the outside world. The things you are about to see are shh, so secret. I don't even tell my closest friends. Not that I have friends, but if I did, I wouldn't tell them. Maybe you'd have more friends if you didn't take other people's things. And now, my new friends, please follow me! <gasps> wow! Look at all that cheese! Check out the waterfall! Are those real cows? Yes, indeed! I find supermarket milk to be too dry, so I produce my own. Plenty to see! But before I give you the tour, I have something amazing to show you! A cow that thinks it's a dog? No, something even better. As my special guests, I'm giving you a sneak peek of my most incredible amazing creation ever. My friends, I give you a chance and Zola! <laughs> Is this one of those light cheeses? My chance and Zola! Somebody stole my chance and Zola! I can't see a thing. <laughs> I told you we should have gotten here earlier. Ooh, I have an idea. Hold this while I climb up with the camera. Huh. Are you okay up there? Uh, yes, a bit higher than I thought. Ladies and gentlemen, I have some terrible news. Tia, hold it still, please. I can't reveal Chauncey's newest cheese to you because it's been stolen. Evening? Evening. Professor Von Volt's lab earlier today, but then he went back to his office. Mm. Mm. You guys gotta try this pepperoni and brie flavor. Amazing. Trot, do you? <sighs> Never mind. Okay, here's the plan. Let's all meet at the office in 15. Maybe we can figure out what's going on. <laughs> what's going on? Where am I? Hello, Stilton. Chippy P. Crunchrat, thank you so much for dropping in. Didn't have much of a choice in the matter, did I? Ah, no, I suppose you didn't. But you see, Stilton, 
You have something I need. An envelope that your nephew gave to you. What do you need it for? <laughs> Always the journalist, huh? It's no concern of yours what I need it for. Just hand it over, if you please. Sorry, Crunchrat, but I can't help you. The formula has been destroyed. Oh. Then you'll just have to recreate it. I can't. I don't remember it. Really? A smart fellow like you. You disappoint me, Stilton. What are you? You see, Stilton, I'm quite determined to get that formula. So I suggest you start trying very hard to remember it. Unless you'd prefer to become the secret ingredient in my latest cheese dip. <laughs> All right, I I'll try to remember. Oh, I suggest you do more than try. <laughs> yes, I understand. I will remember. That's a good trap. <laughs> Sorry, wrong button. <laughs> You mind if I take a rest? I'm feeling a little woozy. Maybe you should try cutting down on the chips. Well, let's not get crazy. There's nothing on his calendar for tonight. Guess what? His car is still in the garage. That's weird. He's not here, but his car is. It doesn't add up. Maybe we should check the footage from the security system. Good thinking. Right behind you. Get him. A cheese factory? Oh. I told you, you should have gone home. Uh, oh, that's odd. The door is open, but the place seems to be closed. Let's split up. I'll take the front entrance. You go around back. Not about the cheese. Huh? Hmm. Turn right at the Brie, then left at the Swiss. The next clue is one that you cannot miss. Hmm. Oh, 1965. That was a good year for cheddar. Oh, oh, oh. Focus, focus. <gasps> oh. If you want to learn more, go to the second floor. This can't be good. Operation Mousetrap accomplished. Geronimo? Geronimo! Hey, watch where you're going. Uh, uh, did you see anything? No, it was a false alarm. Uh, let's go. Hurry up and get on! I thought you didn't know how to drive a motorcycle. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, uh, I don't know what came over me. Wait a sec. This doesn't make any sense. Uncle G doesn't have a pocket watch. <laughs> Wait, what am I thinking? I'll just call Tia for help. Hmm, his phone went dead.
Hello? Hello? Oh! I knew it! My cousin has secret cheese hidden all over his office. I have to save him from himself. I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't sneaking around your office taking all your cheese. It's me, Benjamin. Oh, good. Uh, don't tell your uncle. Where is Uncle G? His phone's dead. Oh, he and Tia went to investigate some warehouse. Anything else you can remember? Nope. Oh, there was something about a mysterious text message. From who? I said it was mysterious. Maybe I can trace where the text message came from. <gasps> You're back! <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> I could use a little snack. No, no cheese, remember? Your diet? My diet? Oh, right. Uh, maybe a drink of water then. Tia, Tia, come here quick. I think Geronimo's an imposter. Well, he's acting kind of weird. Uh, I thought I told you no cheese. Ah, I'll start my diet tomorrow. Hey, ask him what time it is. What? Uh, Geronimo, what time is it? Oh, hey, it's time for the new Mouse City Nuggets game. If that's an imposter, then where is Uncle G? Hmm. <laughs> Luckily, when the floor gave way, I landed in the soft cheeses. Tia! So, did you see anything? Come on, we need to talk. <laughs> hey, uh... 